Everybody good? All right, we got uh, PJ Hall and Nas Bohannon. Go ahead with questions whenever you guys are ready. PJ, how good did it feel to, to be able to grind that one out? It was a hard fuck game, and uh, especially with uh, with Hunter Tyson being out the entire second half. Uh, it felt great. Uh, a lot of energy from the fans. Uh, everybody it was collective effort. We had both of our freshmen come in, give us some good minutes. Ian was he was great. Nas came in, played a lot of minutes for Hunter, and uh, it was a whole collective effort. Everybody it was awesome. I guess uh, what inspires you to actually pump up the crowd while you're, while you're on the free throw line? I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of happens. Uh, I didn't do it much last year. Obviously, well, first of all, I went in the game. But uh, uh, I mean, like, you know, I, you know like, I was really animated in high school, a lot of emotion. And uh, honestly, it helps me because, I mean, whenever I start getting the crowd into it, I'm not tired. I don't I don't feel any pain I've been going through or anything like that. It's adrenaline pump and it gets me up and down the floor. So our fans were very loud. I mean, there was one point. We're on defense. I'm trying to call ball screen coverage. Coverage, and I mean, I can barely, I can't even hear myself. And so it was. Eventually, it was. I was like, all right, yeah, them down, them down. But uh, no, nah, it was good. It was awesome. Yeah. Now, if you played 30 minutes, one of your better games of the season, did you feel like you really had to step things up with with uh, Hunter out? Yeah, definitely. Hunt's one of our main guys, and I took pride in my role and coming to spot Hunt minutes this year, or just doing whatever we were supposed to do. So when he went down, and I just was like, it's on me now. So yeah. PJ, you were pretty agile tonight. Was your foot a distraction at all throughout the game? Um, not really. No, I don't. I don't really feel it in games. Um, whenever I cool down, I do. But um, you know, I'm, I'm I got a lot of adrenaline going through my body, and I'm pretty warmed up on the course. I don't feel it too much in a game unless I have a a bad step here or there. I remember there's one against Boston College when they took a charge on me when I uh, planted to go uh, to the middle on a drive and I pushed off. I felt it. There's one against um, Virginia where someone stepped in my foot. It's like. Very um, singular plays that kind of like hurt us like that, but then it, it'll normally calm down. How helpful was the weekend off in that respect? Uh, it was very good, very good for everybody. I mean, we had a lot of guys, you know, banged up. Hunter and I, obviously, uh, we're not, we don't know what happened yet, but uh, I mean, before this, we had two purple ankles. So I mean, we've uh, we've been going through some stuff, and so it was definitely a very good thing to have some time off. For that the, kind of stuff. Coming up the atmosphere a little bit late in the game, we were kind of getting everybody fired up and. They were reciprocating and getting everybody, uh, getting everybody going. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, that's that's what really gives us some internal and gives us some extra energy, gets us up and down the floor. And then, I mean, it's, it creates plays on defense. It makes it harder for them, makes it a lot a lot easier for us. I mean, it's, it's a home card advantage. You, you pick up that, that second foul, and, and I think you sat like the last 10 minutes of the first half. Um, how important was it for your teammates to be able to build that nine-point lead going into the locker room without you? It was huge. And honestly, it shows what we can do later in the season, too. I mean, we had guys come off the bench, both of our freshmen filling for me whenever I was and I was lacking on the court. So, I mean, they came out there. They really picked it up for me. And, uh, and then all the other guys played what really well, too. Make it a shot at the end. Boys went up there, pulled up. A little two-pointer was nice. So, uh, we went to the locker room with a lot of confidence. There were no real lulls in this game. Y'all kind of took the lead early and, and kept it the whole way through. Was that something you're proud to see that this team was able to evolve into that? Able to play a complete game. Yeah, for sure. The last, I'd say, three games, we've really, including this one, we've really turned it up a notch starting um, starting with Pitt. Um, all those, we've really turned up our defense and took pride in it now. And uh, so when we went to Syracuse, we give up 90 some odd points. We realized, like, hey, we got to we gotta figure something out. And so it was, uh, it was not easy, but I mean, we worked hard on it. So that's definitely something we're taking pride in now. PJ, you've been considered the most complete top player. Um, I guess where do you see your biggest growth in your game from you know last year to now? Uh, I, I definitely said the mental part of the game. Uh, obviously, I, I polished up, I polished up a lot of stuff in the off season. Worked on conditioning, cut some body fat, got bigger and stronger. But when it comes to um, playing extended minutes, that's why Amir was so so good at everything he did because he knew, like in practice, he was three steps ahead of me always. And so it was it was definitely huge for me to learn from that and learn how to grow my mental side of the game. I mean, our, our, saying, our saying is always um, four, uh, mental is the physical is forced to one. So I'd say I'm you know, I'd probably at a three right now, trying to grow it a little bit more. But, you know, it's definitely been a huge, huge growing point for me. Yeah. Go ahead. 
I say not for you, you know, as you mentioned, obviously another step up to hundred price now. Is how are you kind of just settling in your role now and just kind of figuring things out as far as you come in? Um, <clears throat> just being confident and working at it every day. Going back with Hunt, Hunt's real open and he's honest, and we have a great relationship <laughs> off the court. So him giving me pointers on what to do at what times in the games and obviously playing extended minutes again. I've done it a lot and previously where I was at, but now I'm conditioning myself again to be able to play in longer portions if I need to. Now, Florida State's uh, usually known as being a real physical team in, in the paint. Um, you came up with three offensive rebounds. How, how do you feel they were just from a physical standpoint? Um, they're real physical guys, but that's something that I pride myself on. Like rebounding is a one-two skill. And at that point, six, five, whatever it is that I am, I feel like my heart makes me bigger than a lot of guys out there. So I feel dude, dude came in this year and from the jump, he was getting every board in practice. I was like, good grief, man. Make me a little better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, you had four straight free throws there in the last couple of minutes, blocked a shot. I mean, you were as animated maybe as we've seen you all season with energy and things like that. Did you put it on your Put on yourself, put on your shoulders, make plays on the stretch. Oh, I mean, whenever you're going down that stretch, and it's a, I think it was with like 333 left in the clock, it's a three point game, 69 66. And I looked around and we, we got to get a stop, go back on defense and get a basket and extend the lead a little bit. So we, uh, we're going down. I knew that if, if I can, you know, help get the crowd into it, and obviously everybody else is playing just as hard as me. If, if I don't give everything I got, it's a disrespect and disservice to everyone else on the court on my team. So it's, it's definitely a, a, um, a point I was trying to make to get the crowd into it and get us into it on the bench as well. Did your foot hurt much at more? Uh, not in the game. Yeah, I had a lot of adrenaline at the end. Yeah. Coach Brown, that was a little animated too in the game. Is that the most y'all guys seen in that one? Oh, no. No. I mean, no. not in practice. I'm talking about the game. In the game? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, he gets animated every now and then in a the game. Uh, he got a tech against uh, Pete, let me see. I don't know. Uh, I can't be. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he's a pretty animated guy, but that's just his will to win. He's easily the most, I don't know, my sister's pretty competitive, but uh, he's the second most competitive guy I've ever met. And, uh, you know, my sister put me through the rain a little bit, but uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, but he, uh, he's extremely competitive, and that's what gets him animated a little bit. DJ, um, you, you shot the ball 21 times against Duke, and as you said, after the game, you were getting good shots. They just weren't falling for you for, mm -hmm. for a change. I mean, you usually have a higher field goal percentage, but uh, five for eight tonight. Uh, is there? How do you? Um, I guess is there a, is there a sweet spot for you, or do you just kind of take what you get down there? Honestly, it's just really next shot mentality. I remember there were there was one point in high school where I wasn't shooting the ball well. I was like one for twenty one from three in the beginning of the season. I couldn't hit anything, and next game I was putting four up, putting four more up. I mean, it's you just got to be. I remember Steph Curry saying you got to be like a dry erase board. I remember one time he went. Um, like over 13, then the next game he broke this three-point record in one game. So, I mean, you just got to forget the next shot. If you make it or miss it, you forget it. You make the next one. Uh, free throw miss, you just got to keep playing. Uh, I mean, I, the first half, I literally threw one in the student section, and I realized I was like, I'm going to get chewed for that. But, I mean, I just got to next play. Yeah. You guys really out-rebounded them. Does that, does that, like, surprise you guys considering their, you know, length? Um. Not really. Uh, we have a lot of guys with heart. I mean, like, look at this guy. I mean, dude is strong. He plays as hard as he can. We got freshmen that come in there. They're getting on the floor. Uh, ben, I think, had an offensive rebound, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I didn't credit it to him, but he did. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, our guys go in there, they rebound, they fight for us. So it really we, – if whenever we go out there and we play our basketball, I know we can uh, bring physicality to anybody. Is there a sense of urgency just knowing that you guys are going to start real awesome wins if you want to get back in conversation for postseason play this point? For sure, yeah. Um, urgency started back in November, and it's definitely – we've had to kick it up a notch. We realize we, – I mean, we, we've handed away some games. And so, you know, we, um, we realize we have to, you know, kick it up a notch. DJ, as far as leadership, do you feel like you're starting to take on that role forward, especially with Hunter going down? Do you feel like you needed to do that tonight? Um, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I, I, I've tried to grow into it all year, but I look at our older guys that came in. I mean, like, like him, he came in. He's the leading rebounder in Division One basketball right now, uh, active, and he's not starting. Um, I mean, now we're not sure what's going on with Hunter, but, I mean, I look up to guys like that, and Hunter's got a – I mean, we don't know what's wrong with him. He's on, he's on the bench, and I'm coming out of timeout, and he's looking at me like, hey, like, Let's go. It's dominant. Finish it up. So I, mean, I look at all those older guys, and they teach me how to be a leader. 
Anybody got anything on Zoom? Go get some rest. Go to class. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Trevor's right here, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.